Okay, this screencast is on Kano Maps, which is a way of uh, displaying uh, the probabilities of, um, of multiple events, I suppose, and, and, and combinations of events. Anyway, I'll, I'll, traditionally, perhaps you might have seen, uh, you might have used a Venn diagram uh, for such things. Kano Maps are just another way, it's, it's putting, putting, um, putting uh, probabilities in a table sort of format rather than a circular format. So um, I'll start actually with a, um, uh, with, uh, with a Venn diagram. So let's have a look at uh, two events A and B and I'm just going to uh, very dryly give some probabilities for those without putting too much context into it because all I want to do is, is, is to sort of display what we'd, you'd normally do with this information. Um, that's A intersection B, that's intersection B, that's uh, Hopefully you've seen that before. Um, all right, so with that information there, you might have traditionally gone, okay, well, let's, let's st stick all this in a Venn diagram because that way I can see what's what. All right, so if that's that's event A there, and this is event B here, so we, we have an overlap because we're allowing for this intersection A, A intersection B. We always fill in that intersection area first. So it's 0.1 in there. Now, the probability of A is 0.2. So I've already got 0.1 covered in there, so I must just have 0.1 there, so that adds up to the 0.2. Probably B is 0.6, so what do I put there? That's 0.5, so they add up to 0.6. And then I add them together, I've got 0.2, 0. that's only 0. 0.7, so there must be 0. 0.3 that uh, that is neither A or B. Uh, the probability that, um, that, that, it's, that, that neither A nor B occurs is 0. 0.3. So that's how we would display that data. Uh, all those probabilities into a Venn diagram in order to help us solve some problems. Um, so we're given limited information and, and we're asked to, to put things into, uh, into a visual display that, that assists us with, with solving problems around, uh, around, that, around that context. So uh, I'm going to put the same information into a Kano map. Um, now this Kano fellow I think was a physicist actually. Um, and he obviously uh, came up with the, the the idea of putting all this sort of information rather than you know maybe using a Venn diagram. Maybe it looks maybe it's easier to read in a table. Maybe it's easier to get our heads around it. So Kano maps. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to say use tables instead of. Uh, circles or Venn diagrams. So let's let's get let's get a Kano map out. So for this information here where A and B are our events A and B. Right, so across um, this table across the horizontal we have A and not A. Down the vertical we have B and not B. Um, and we'll you know we'll, we'll construct a table around this. This looks like a table. Okay, and we're going to have some totals here. So that's going to be a total. Uh, we're going to total that off as well. That'll be a total. Um, these will be total column uh, uh, boxes. And this will be our sum of that and that. So those two boxes there should sum to one, and those two boxes there should sum to one. Sub to one. Right, so let's get the information. What's the probability of A is 0.2? So probability of A is 0.2. So that's, this is the A column here. So the probability of A, 0.2 goes in there. So the probability of B is 0.6. So that probability of B goes across here is 0.6. And the probability of A intersection B is 0.1. A intersection B is here 0 0.1 if that's 0 0.1 these two cells here have to add up to 0 0.2 so that would be 0 0.1 these two cells here have to total to 0 0.6 so that's 0 0.5 do you see what's going on now we can fill out the rest of our box 0 0.2 plus this has to equal 1 so that's 0 0.8 if that's 0 0.8 then this must be 0 0.3 and if that's 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 that has to be 0 0.4 and you can see 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 is 1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 is 1 I went through that really fast hopefully hopefully that all made sense with the same numbers sort of found you see this this point three here is neither and that's a complement b complement i should have perhaps explained 
um, this means complement complement the complement of a not a in, in, in other words uh, these numbers are all there a intersection b that's point one there it is a intersection this says a intersection b complement so this is a um, intersecting with not b well that's just that's just the point one there isn't it so there we go that's all that and i thought we'd just do a, a an example out of the book um, and see how it comes out i'm going to use the example from uh, page 308 in the textbooks it's about uh, color blindness so I'm going to use that example page 308 um, and let's have a look at that it's to do with color blindness and um, males males um, and color blind so they're the two the relationships that we're, we're exploring here so color blindness or not color blind male and not male so I think that's the easiest way of setting these things up um, so it's just it's it's um, one it's it's the, it's it's uh, it's either in this case C and not C M and not M I think that makes it it's probably clearest okay our tallies are going to be there and our magic number one is going to be down in this square here that's going to be one um, so all right let's let's look at the information it says if you read it through in your textbook and I think having, uh, having it in front of you is going to be helpful here. The, uh, suppose that of the people in Australia, approximately 6% are colorblind. 6% are colorblind. Right, so I can put that down here. Colorblind, 6%. Right, there we go. Um, suppose also that 45% of Australians are male. 45% of Australians are male. That goes in there. 045 and further, that 5% of males are colorblind. Males, colorblind, 5%. Okay, go and fill out the rest of the, the, the square. I'm going to do it in a different color. So this will be 0 0.01, because they've got a sum to that. This will be 0 0.4, because they've got a sum to that. This will be 0 0.94, because they've got a sum to 1. And 0 0.55 there, because they've got a sum to 1. This is fun. 0 0.55 there, because they... Um, that's wrong. 0 0.54, I'm sorry, yeah, 0 0.4 and 54 gets us 94, and there's our Kano table filled out. So then we can answer the question. It says, the prob find the probability that a person selected at random is female and colorblind. Female, so not male, and colorblind. There it is there, 0 0.01. In part B, it says, find the probability that a person selected at random is male and not colorblind. Where's that, Where's that square? Male. And not colorblind, it's there. It's 0.4. I'll do that in a different color. 0.4 there. That's the answer to part B. So A is 1% and B is 40%. That's how we use our Kano maps. Um, and we can go and do exercise 10E now. And um, we'll get round to that probably on Monday or Tuesday next week. Okay, see you later.